is expected to resupply the Tiangong space station and it will be no, the no, first no, no, no. such mission no, no, no. after no, no, no. it was completed yeah. last November. Less than 30 seconds. You can see all the rotational oh, platforms oh, already uh, been uh, withdrawn and from the And scientists there are really holding their breath uh, yes. for the blast off. Uh, the lift now, off. 10 yeah. seconds yeah. count down. Ignition. Last off. So six engines, six YF-100 engines uh, ignite at the same moment. Four on the boosters with one engine each, and then two engines in the core stage. Uh, and at this moment, the first critical action will be the pitch over, which means that it's direct change its direction uh, from going upward right. to the uh, to the east, uh, uh, southeast mm -hmm. direction. So when can we expect this um, Tianzhou mission, the spacecraft, to be uh, docked with our Tianzhou space station? Uh, that depends on the plan, uh, the mission of the mission failed. Usually, uh, you know, the, during the last uh, Tianzhou mission, we make a road record about uh, two more hours from the liftoff to the docking. Uh, maybe, maybe several hours, it depends on the design of the mission itself. And at this moment, you can see the video from the camera mounted on the fuselage of the vehicle itself. And you can see the two boosters. And it looks like a bit cloudy in that area. And this uh, Not very heavy. You can still see the flame of yeah, the first day. It's gradually fading away from our side. It's getting farther away. Yeah. And also, uh, from the video cameras in the ground stations, we can monitor the trajectory of the vehicle itself. And also, we have readers mm -hmm. to monitor the tra trajectory. Uh, and we also have the sensors on board the vehicle itself. Now, you can see the video that, uh, as I mentioned, the camera mounted uh, from the, in the fuselage of the vehicle. And you can see the two boosters and right. the flame of the rocket engines. They give us different angles and different perspectives yes. to uh, see this mission up close. And the next the critical step will be the separation of the four boosters. We, you can see that soon, about uh, less than ten minutes, uh, less than three minutes. Right, and this moment reminds us of the uh, Tianzhou Five mission, and that you mentioned to me just now that it made records in exactly. uh, being the fastest mission to be uh, connected with the Tiangong. Yeah. And you can see the flame has uh, the, the shape of the flame has already changed uh, changed because it's already almost in a vacuum condition. Right, because isn't that the, the amazing to is very see how high. the flames and how the color of it yes, exactly. uh, changes as they go up higher? So it it uses kerosene and liquid oxygen as the propellant. You can see so the flame uh, is a little bit blue co in blue color. Right. So again, uh, what is on board this Tian uh, this Tianzhou six mission? We mentioned there is going to be fuel, a lot of food. What are some of the other supplies? Uh, as I mentioned, the scientific research instruments and also some backup parts for the uh, for the life support system of our Tiangong Space Station and also some parts maybe for the space suits. Mm -hmm. You know that for each time, uh, each time we conducted an EVA. Oh, you can see that the boosters are already separated. Right, separation space. Great. So the next step will be the separation of the first stage. So the rocket boosters are now uh, being released and they've detached from the main body of the rocket. Great, the first stage also separated. Right. Okay, this, you can see that the second stage has already ignited very normally. Right. Uh, While well, this process is, of course, crucial yeah, in yeah, sending yeah, large yeah, vehicles yeah. into space and helping protect the payload. And the next, as you mentioned, the next uh, step will be the uh, jettisoning of the payload ferry mm -hmm. because it is already it's out of the atmosphere. Oh, this is a camera inside the payload ferry. Right. You can see the. Uh, you can see the. Great. Now the fairing is separating. Jet, jet, that is it. Jetson. And then uh, it will come the, there will come the first stage separation. This is already, which means that it's already, the attitude is already high enough and do not have much uh, aerodynamic forces acting right. on the body. So it do not need the payload fairing and to save the energy. Mm -hmm. So the rocket itself has the power to push itself against the atmosphere, is that yes. correct? Uh, it, it has the power, but the aerodynamic forces 
uh, acting on the spaceship is already low enough mm. uh, because uh, strong uh, aerodynamic forces will damage the uh, uh, spaceship. So as we watch very closely on this launch mission, the three Taikonauts on board the Tiangong Space Station, they are also anticipating new supplies uh, because we understand that this mission will resupply them with the final weeks of their mission on board the Tiangong Space Station. Uh, they've been the up there for some five months already. Usually for any astronauts, either the ISS or China's Tiangong Space Station, the visiting of the cargo ship will be the happiest time for them. Because exactly. the fresh food <laughs> arrived. You've got parcel. And also gifts from family members. Oh, they have that on board as have. well? Exactly. Hmm. Uh, and also, uh, you know, that's uh, probably the our Shenzhou 15 crew are also watching the live car coverage. Probably. They have access to exactly. our CGTN or mm -hmm. some other? <laughs> uh, actually speaking, the flight center. Flight center. Yeah. You, you know, that's we have the Tianlian data relay satellite. It has very high speed and can transmitting the videos mm. uh, from the ground to the station. So they, they're not only uh, watching the live page of the, uh, of the rocket launch, but also, you know, that during the Winter Olympic Games and she during the Olympic Games, they can also watch the, uh, all kinds of matches. Sure. What are some of the preparations that they are making to welcome their new supplies and to welcome the Shenzhou 6 to dock with the Tiangong? It's really complex. You see that for the docking, even the docking technology is already already very practical, but still uh, a very risky operation. So the uh, attitude, the orbit of the King of Space Station must in the right position. And moreover, you see that uh, uh, you know that the uh, Tianzhou cargo ship needs several orbit maneuvers and all conducted automatically. So we must monitor its status and finally we have the final approach. Uh, must be well monitored by not only those on the ground, uh, our ground staff, and also monitored by the Tiangong Space Station. Mm -hmm. We also have the sensors to measure the relative distance, the relative angle, and also relative attitude of uh, each vehicle. As we speak now, Professor, uh, help us understand where this rocket is, uh, what's the altitude at this moment. This moment is flying above the Pacific Ocean, uh, at, uh, uh, actually speaking maybe uh, to the east of the uh, Philippines, I, mm. I believe. Uh, and at this moment, it's already, uh, you know, that's it's several minutes already passed, it's already uh, uh, high enough, uh, already much higher than 100 kilo uh, kilometers. So I believe it's already uh, near to close its two fixed engines. You see there are four engines on the second stage. You yes. can see two of them from the left screen, right. uh, from the camera. And two engines, two fixed engines will be shut down first, mm -hmm. and then the, the other two vernier engines. Yeah. Well, if you've just joined us, this is our special coverage, live coverage of the launch of China's latest Tianzhou 6 mission. This is a cargo spacecraft. It will resupply astronauts with uh, their fuel, food, and everyday necessities on board the Tiangong space station. And this is one, the first such mission to take place since China's Tiangong space station was completed last November. As I mentioned, on the second stage, we have four rocket engines called YF-115. Each has a thrust about 18 tons, and the two of them uh, on the opposite direction will be shut down first to decrease the thrust. And the, with a smaller thrust, the accuracy will increase. Mm. So that is the reason we use this operation. And then the two vernier engines will uh, finally adjust its uh, trajectory to make it accurate, accurate inside, enough. One highlight of this mission is um, the increased payload. Yeah. We mentioned there's a 20% increase, but where does that increase come from? For example, uh, is, is the spacecraft itself larger than no. its predecessor, or how, how, how do you no. allocate space? As Chen Ying has already mentioned, the total mass is still 13.5 uh, tons, magic tons. Uh, so the total mass is not changed. The increase of the uh, payload uh, comes from the decrease of the platform itself. It's because it's become more and more practical, we can remain less resources to the platform itself. So more resources will remain for the payload. Mm -hmm. So that is the reason why we can have this uh, very, the highest uh, uh, ratio or the highest proportion of payload, eff effective payload uh, among all cargo ships of human being. Okay. What does this increased payload mean for China's future missions? For example, will that uh, mean less frequency in the launch of cargo spacecraft? 
exactly. Uh, and also, there are other options to have more scientific research experiments. Mm -hmm. So both are very possible, and also it can reduce the cost. And of course, our taikonauts will be better off there uh, when they carry you, out their missions. Yeah, as you mentioned, maybe more uh, fresh fruit. Um, there were some reports uh, about the possibility of sending a big refrigerator up there to the Tiangong Space Station to make sure that our Taikonauts there have uh, you know, okay, better Okay, you can see that the fi fixed diet. engines are already shut down. Right. Yeah. So, so next will be the shutdown of the Vernier engines. This is the first stage separation? No, no, no. It's still the second stage. Okay. Uh, as I mentioned, there are four engines on board the second stage. Two mm -hmm. will be shut down already shut down the first two engines and then the other two engines. Okay. okay. The vernage engine also. So the next step will be separation. Great. Separation. You can see the video from the second stage, the right. separation of the cargo ship itself. So now we can see the Long March 7 Y7 rocket is detaching from the Tianzhou 6 capsule. And we've been hearing applause from the control center. And this from mission. this video, you can see that the attitude control engines on the Tianzhou cargo ship is already working. Hmm. So, um, is the Tianzhou 6 approaching its way into orbit? It's already in orbit. It's in orbit, and it's doing that all on its own. Exactly. And the next critical step for Tianzhou 6 is to uh, unfolding of its solar, solar panels. panels. Yep. Hmm.